And this is a space that is uh, really for women in and around Kayonza to come and find resources, uh, mostly vulnerable women, uh, to find resources, support and space for them to come and uh, innovate a space really for them to, to come and learn different skills. Um, it was founded by uh, Women for Women International in 2013, courtesy of uh, Bloomberg Foundation and, um, and other, other donors. They realized that they needed a center around somewhere in Rwanda uh, where these women can come in and, and, and sort of get the support, the skills and the resources. Women for Women yamaya mahugurwa uyu mwaka wose ariko yansanze mu cyaro ndu mukene ntabwo nari umukene ukabije cyane ariko nari umukene ku buryo ntahazaga umuryango wanje mu bijyanye n'ubukungu Women for Women International has supported over 75,000 women around Rwanda, all over Rwanda uh, the center in Kayonza has seen almost 3,000 women come for trainings, um, learn different skills uh, from social protection to basket weaving to beadwork. Some have remained at the center and continue to help the center become sustainable. Others have actually gone out there and started their own businesses. Um, and you see the impact when they come every day, when they come and learn additional skills. They are happy that they've learned an additional skill. Many for women must have come from a long way from the coast. Many men are more rich, cheaper. They have done more. Must have come from Asia. Must have come from Asia. They should have learned to make soccer balls. They were trained how to make soccer balls using banana fiber. Ibidere, and it advanced. And they taught them how to make them using leather, dyed leather. You dye black and white. So we had guests, FIFA guests, coming to visit the centre because they wanted activities outside Kigali and they saw the soccer ball and they, they, were, they were surprised to know that the soccer balls were made by these women. So they bought two soccer balls, I remember, and we were all surprised when Infantino, you know, it was his first when he mentioned it in, in, in the, the beginning of at the beginning of his speech during the FIFA Council. This ball here, which proudly says "Made in Rwanda." So this ball has been manufactured by some women, some ladies who survived the, su the genocide in this country. And to have a life, they are producing many beautiful things. Amongst these things, footballs. Footballs to give smiles and joy and hope to children all over the world. But mainly, of course, here in Rwanda. So I would like to start by challenging all of you, those who want, of course, to buy one of these boats. Iyo duhuri hamwe na bagenzi banje dukora umupira wo gukina nabyo birashimisha kandi nabo baba bikunze kandi kindi cyahindura ubuzima bwanje nuko nabonye aho kuba bikuye muri ubwo bukorikori bikuye muri uko kongera gashya mu byo nkora ubuzima bwarahindutse uko nari imeze siko nkimeze rero abadamu bagenze banje nabashishikariza gutinyuka imirimo yose bakayitinyuka wenda nti batinyuka imirimo mibi ariko imirimo myiza yose bakayitinyuka kuko imirimo myiza yose uko byagenda kose byara umusaruro kandi imaze kubyara umusaruro uvuga ngo bigira inyungu ku muryango bikagira n'inyungu ku gihugu So far we've made about 10 soccer balls, all pre actually preparing them to be sent to different countries in Europe. This is the demand that we got post the FIFA Council in Kigali. 
Um, but we also, as a centre, we want to make it intentional. We want to even approach Fed Guafai and, and, you know, we are making these soccer balls. Are we, able, we know that FIFA has, uh, is, is committed to support uh, soccer talent in, in, uh, in Rwanda. Soccer talent means soccer balls. How can we partner with Fed Guafa and have them, you know, uh, have us supply some of these soccer balls? By doing that, they support the women and um, they get additional income.